the objective of the challenge is to deploy teams of autonomous, semi-autonomous robots to go search and map underground uh, environments. They're looking for what uh, they refer to as artifacts. Um, so the artifacts are basically different types of objects, so like a backpack, a simulated survivor, vents, uh, what have you. And it's massively complicated, as you might imagine. So certainly building robots is much harder than I ever imagined. Um, but yeah, it really is uh, very difficult. These systems are, you know, this is a lot closer to an F1 race car than it is to a Volvo. It's constant maintenance. You're right on the edge of what's possible. Um, so <laughs> watching the systems, I mean, it's a lot of work, right? I mean, it's about 20, 25 people full time working on this project. Um, so to go locate the artifacts, you're literally searching. Um, so that's a lot of the autonomy, I'm saying autonomy, semi-autonomous. That the robots are making decisions for themselves of where to go look next. There will be stairs. So with stairs, it adds to the complication. Yeah, I mean, going downstairs, the basically 500-pound robot um, is a little bit scary. I don't know if you've ever tried it, um, but yeah. Um, so we flipped one yesterday. So we're testing, and it's like anything. Um, it's the more you do it, and the better you get, and you sort of refine your system. The driver gets better. He builds up confidence, or they build up confidence. And um, yeah, it's just literally one step at a time.